Hey, welcome back everybody. Today it's finally time to upgrade my Shadow Beak to an S tier pal and I'm taking you along on the journey. Just remember that everything you do matters and I hope that you have a great day. Okay everybody, it is time to finally upgrade my Shadow Beak. I was waiting until I bred enough pals to go through all the pal condensing levels and until I had enough pal souls to fully do all the pal soul upgrades as well. So here's where we're starting for our shadow beak. The attack is 523. The defense is 639. And that's higher because it has a burly body on it. Also, I have swift, which is awesome because later once I unlock the saddle, I'll use this as a mounting pal. And it has earthquake resistance, which I'm not too worried about. Now, if you're looking for shadow beak in general, you have to go to wildlife sanctuary three. And I do have a video showing how you can capture high tier pals in this area. So you're going to need at least two shadow beaks so you can start breeding them. And here's the breeding setup that I had so I could breed out enough. And here's all the incubators I got. I bred them up here and I just went ahead and, you know, took all the time. They do only take an hour to go up here because of where I'm at. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start by doing the condensing level. So we got Shadow Beak level 38, and let's see what we can do by adding all these different levels to it. Okay, first one. Get our second tier, and we'll compare all the stats after. Okay. So you need a total of over a hundred of these to do this. I believe it's 117 total. And I have more than I need just because I ended up incubating too many eggs, but that's no problem. I'll just sell them at the end. Okay, there we go. So now we've got it all the way, everything is up and it took the modified DNA level to five. It took our attack. Here, we'll go do a different screen so we can see it better. So our attack went all the way up to 627. And I'm actually gonna pull up those initial numbers here. So I can compare them. So our attack went up by about 104, it looks like. And our defense went up by like 130. Work speed didn't do it. It actually went down, but that's not a big deal because I'm not worried about work speed with this. It's only level two gathering. So this is a fighting pal. So we're at attack 627 and defense 766. Yep. Now yep. we are gonna go and upgrade. We'll use all of our pal souls. So right now the max health is 3801. So we'll finish this all out. I believe I have enough pal souls to do this. If not, we'll just see how close we can get. I wish you could just, there was an option where you could just max upgrade. So we gained about a thousand health. Let's see what we can do to the attack. All right, so our attack is now up to 815. And let's go ahead and see what we can do to our defense. Okay, and our defense is up to 996. So that is crazy high defense. Um, I actually did this whole process with Jormantide Ignis and this this time it ended up kind of defense heavy which is fine and my German tide ended up attack heavy so if you see after i went through the full upgrade process now this is a couple levels higher but it, it turned out 1200 damage whereas this one turned out a lot less damage or attack 
and we kind of did a flip on the defense so this is a lot of defense and i don't think it's going to be too much of an issue to take down high tier pals but we need to find out so let's go up against a couple pals here pal bosses so we can see how well shadow beak performs okay so let's try out our shadow beak against a couple different bosses i'm going to start with Baylit here level 38 and see how it fares i haven't tried this out so i guess we will find out how this works yeah we will be down. That's a good hit. I'm trying not to help just so we can see how Shadow Beak performs. A pretty good hit there. Yep. Yeah. Might finish it. Okay. I actually want to mm. capture this, so. Yeah. Oh, this one might finish it. So. Okay. All right. So it performed okay. Not too bad. Um, be honest, not quite as well as I thought it would, but it's still pretty good. Now let's see what else we should check out here. Let's go try it against another boss in just a minute. All right, so we'll go ahead and try out Shadow Beak against Masanda Lux. Push it out here. Now it is a little bit weak, but I mean, it doesn't have full health, but if yeah. we can defeat it without full health, it's even better. Oh, I got on the wrong thing. Just gonna shoot it once to get it going. Get a good view up here. What's it doing? Back yeah. over there. There we go. Ooh, took a pretty or gave it a good pretty, pretty good hit there. Another one. <laughs> My sand is just running away. Oh, it might be because it's trying to come attack me. I don't know. Yep. Weird. Okay, so it's handling the Masanda pretty good. Yep. Let's see the attacks. Yep. Heavy hit. I'm going to go ahead and capture it. Okay, so it performed really well against Electrical Boss. In general, it's just a super cool pal. I wouldn't say it's the absolute best pal, but it's definitely in the top tier. And it's just, there's something that's so cool about having it. It being the uh, Dark Magic pal, I really enjoy it. And I'm glad that I spent the time to upgrade it.